If you're a content creator on Windows, I may just have the ideal laptop for you. This is the new ASUS ProArt P16, now with up to a 16-inch ASUS Lumia Pro OLED 4K 120Hz touch display and up to the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 5090 laptop GPU. I've had this for a couple of weeks and I've partnered with ASUS to tell you all about it. Now the unboxing experience is pretty straightforward. Inside the main box, there are two inner boxes. One has the 240 watt charger and the other has the ASUS ProArt P16 as well as some paperwork. And here it is. The first thing we need to talk about is this absolutely stunning display. It's 16 inches OLED with a 4K resolution, a 16 by 10 aspect ratio, 0.2 millisecond response time, 120 hertz for the refresh rate, and up to 1600 nits HDR peak brightness. Now this is something we all wanted from the ProArt P16, 4K 120 hertz, and it's now here and it's beautiful. Now being a laptop, aimed at creators, this is also very color accurate. So we've got a 100% DC IP3 color gamut. It's Visa certified with Display HDR True Black 1000, Pantone validated and Tuve Rhineland certified. It's also a touchscreen with stylus support. Now I generally don't tend to use the touchscreen. It's not bad, but it does wobble a little bit. So as a laptop display, it pretty much ticks off all of the boxes that you could want. I guess if there was one thing that I personally would have liked is for this to be a bit more anti-reflective because it is glossy, but that may have slightly affected the color accuracy. And because this display is so bright, the glare is generally not an issue. Now that display paired with the performance of this laptop makes it an absolute beast. So you can now get this with up to the AMD Ryzen 8 9 HX 3070 processor, up to the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 1590 laptop GPU with 24 gigabytes GDDR7 VRAM, up to 64 gigabytes of LPDDR5X memory, and up to four terabytes of M.2 NVMe PCIe 4.0 SSD storage. You've also got ambient cooling technology. So the RTX 5090, 5080, and 5070 Ti versions have a vapor chamber. Now, traditional laptops utilize a system of heat pipes to draw heat from the processor towards the heat sinks, but sometimes a vapor chamber is more efficient. So with much more contact, including on the RAM and circuitry, the ProArt P16's vapor chamber cools as much of the mainboard as possible before passing it off to the heat sinks. Now, if you get the RTX 5060 or 5070, they will have ASUS's TriFan technology. Now, with these specs, as expected, this is ideal for even heavy editing workflows. I can use Adobe Premiere Pro even at full resolution and easily scrub through the timeline. Of course, if things do get quite heavy with VFX, then I can switch down to half. And export times are also very, very good. And of course, with the RTX 5090, this is also an ideal laptop for gaming. And gaming on this beautiful display at 120 hertz is amazing. Now, looking at the design, things are very familiar. So we've got the premium aluminium CNC unibody in this beautiful nano black color. I kind of feel like the Pro Art series is literally made for me. Now, it has a smudge resistant finish, which works really well. Is it completely finger and smudge proof. No, if you really go looking, you can notice some smudges, especially if you have greasy fingers like I do. Nice. But those you can pretty easily just rub off with a microfiber cloth. And I would say this is the darkest black they could have possibly achieved without making this a complete fingerprint magnet. We've got the new ASUS Pro Art logo. There's the stealth hinge and we have military grade durability, which I'm not really gonna be testing. Now, all of that in this relatively compact form factor, this is around 1.95 kg, and at its thinnest point, it's around one and a half centimeters. We've got a full-size backlit keyboard, and the keys have around 1.7 millimeters of travel, and they feel really nice. There's a huge trackpad. This is literally the biggest trackpad that you could have possibly fit in this space here. Very clicky, works really well. 
But what's unique about the ProArt P16 is the ASUS dial pad. So now this is embedded within the trackpad and you can easily activate it just by swiping down here from the top right hand corner of the trackpad. You can also deactivate it by doing the same thing. This is super useful and it works with pretty much every app, Adobe Photoshop, Premiere Pro, Lightroom Classic. It now also works with CapCut and you can really customize this just the way you like it and it has either a single or multi-functions. Now, I generally only use single functions within apps because I don't want an extra step. So for me personally, when I'm using Adobe Photoshop, I use it to zoom in and out. And within Adobe Premiere Pro, I use it to skip forward and backwards within my timeline. But you can customize this just the way you like. So for instance, in Photoshop, if you wanna use it to change your brush size, then you can do that. I generally use the multi-functions for the desktop, so if I wanna change the brightness or the volume. But once again, you can just go ahead and customize this just the way you'd like it. Now let's talk a little bit about the software. So this comes with Windows 11 with all of the ASUS Copilot Plus PC features. So we've got things like live captions, recall, co-creator, generative fill and erase in paint, and many, many more. But being an ASUS laptop, we also get some exclusive ASUS AI apps. One of those is StoryCube. Now this is basically a one-stop file management assistant, and this is ideal for creative projects. You can easily import digital assets from lots of different sources, whether that be your pro cameras, GoPro action cameras, drones, smartphones, or cloud storage. And then it uses AI technology to automatically organize all of your files. It can use face recognition technology, it can do scene categorization, and it can even generate highlight reels. Now, ASUS have partnered with GoPro to make the workflow even more seamless. So all of your photos and videos, including large 5.6K as well as 360 videos, are automatically added to your cloud account at 100% quality and accessible via StoryCube. And there's also Muse Tree, which is a really interesting app from ASUS, which uses on-device AI to help you brainstorm and also create images via AI. And if you're working on a project and you wanna get lots of ideas in one place, this might be very useful for you. There's the ASUS ProArt Creator Hub. Now this is a great place to optimize all of your system settings, calibrate connected monitors, and also quickly access system apps. And if you're an Adobe user like me, the good news is that you do get a complimentary three month Adobe subscription included with the ProArt P16. Now let's take a look at the ports because pretty much every single port you could ask for is covered here. On the left side, we have one DC in. There's a full-size HDMI 2.1 port. There's a USB 4.0, 40 gigabits a second Type-C port. This also supports display as well as power delivery. There's one USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-A port, as well as a 3.5 millimeter combo audio jack. On the right side, we have a full-size SD Express 7.0 card reader. I love this. If you're a content creator like me, then you will always have a full-size SD card, which you can just slot in here. You're not gonna need any dongles. There's another USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-A port, as well as one USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-C port. This also supports display and power delivery. We've got Wi-Fi 7 with a maximum data rate of almost 2.88 gigabits per second. And this has support for 320 megahertz channels, which are twice the size of previous Wi-Fi generations. Bluetooth 5.4 with a full HD ASUS AI Sense camera with IR function, so it does support Windows Hello. And here's a sample of the quality. So just a quick test of the AI Sense camera here on the ASUS ProArt P16. Let me know what you guys think. And for the audio, we have some amazing speakers here. There's six speakers, two tweeters and four woofers with Dolby Atmos support. They sound absolutely great. And we also have the smart amplifier with ASUS's audio booster. So you can get up to 5.25 times louder sound with zero distortion. Now for the battery. So we have a 90 watt hour four cell lithium polymer battery. How is the battery life? Well, this is a very tricky question because if you're at 4K 120 Hertz gaming on this, obviously it's not gonna last you that long. 
I would say on average mixed use, you're gonna get around seven to eight hours. So that's some general use as well as some video editing. But that of course really depends on the resolution and the refresh rate that you're gonna be working on this laptop. Now having the 240 watt charger included is of course a huge bonus. So you can charge this up very quickly. Now, finally, for the pricing, so the Asus Pro Art P16 is going to be available in lots of different variants. If you want the RTX 5070 Ti, which I would say is going to be suitable for most workflows, that's going to be starting at around £3,000. If you want the RTX 5080 version, that's going to be starting at around £3,800. And if you want to go all out and you want the RTX 5090 version, then that has a starting price of around £4,800. Now, granted, that is a lot, but with that, you are getting 64 gigabytes of memory with four terabytes of SSD storage. And if we compare that to equivalent models from some of the competition, as well as a spec'd up MacBook Pro, then these are the price ranges that you have to expect. Now, if you're interested in picking up the Pro Art P16 and you want to see the latest pricing and availability info, then I will leave that link down in the description below. What do you guys think of the Asus Pro Art P16? Drop me a comment below. Let me know your thoughts. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, then do smash that like button for me. And if you want to see more content like this, then do consider subscribing to this channel. Thanks for watching. This is Saf on SuperSaf TV, and I'll see you next time.